Hello, and welcome to the ITLP Laser Cutter Fabrication Request Training. In this training, we'll go over how to complete a fabrication request for the laser cutter machines. My name is Ann Barless, and I'm one of the engineers at the ITLP that oversees these machines. Today, we'll cover an overview of the fabrication request process, how to submit a request, and how to get help. I like to start at the ITLL website. You can find this at itll.colorado.edu. This is also where you can access the fabrication request system. So our first step will be to click on the purple fabrication request button. This will open the fabrication request page where all of the job shop fabrication request options at the ITLL can be accessed. Make sure to read the details for each shop carefully as the process may differ slightly. Also note on this page, there is a link to make an appointment with one of the ITLL staff engineers regarding questions about prototyping. Today we're covering laser cutters, so we'll select the laser cutters option. This will bring us to the page specific for laser machines and provide instructions for submitting the request. Let's go through them step by step. Step one is to submit a request form through this link. Once you've done a few requests, you can start here, but we'll go through all the steps for now. Once you've submitted your request, step two is for the ITLP staff to generate a quote for your, your part to be laser cut or rastered. Once you have completed payment, ITLP staff will get to work on your part. You will also receive an email that your part is in progress. Please note that we cannot start working on your part until payment is complete, so it is important that you keep an eye on your email and process it as soon as possible. Once your part is complete, you will receive an email that your part is ready for pickup at the ITLL. The email will not include specific details on how to pick it up, so we've also included them here. You can find your part in a contactless pickup locker on our patio by the west entrance and loading dock of the ITLL building. The pink locker for laser cut parts is number 5 and the combo is 5555. This information lives here on the landing page for laser cutters for you to access at any time. Also note that the ITLP can ship your parts to you for a flat rate. You will receive an email with confirmation after we submit our part with directions on how to do this. At the bottom of this page, you can access the laser cutter workshop at the ITLL through Canvas. It's highly recommended that you take the online workshop if you haven't used the machine or software before to get practice on creating files that can be laser cut or engraved. This can also be helpful if it's been a while since you've used them. At the bottom of this page, you'll also find the pricing for the two thicknesses that are currently offered for fabrication requests and clear acrylic. We will update this as we start to offer more or if we offer different materials. You'll also find the link for consulting with ITLP staff about your designs as well as my direct contact information. Let's now go through the process of submitting a request by clicking on the green button that says Submit a Fabrication Request at the very top. When we select that button, we enter the Fabrication Request System. We'll select Laser Cutting as that's the option we want today. That opens a form with fields we need to fill out. So we'll now go through this form, filling out each field. I'll start with my contact information. Note that you can also use this plus button to add different members of your team who may want to be notified at the part about the part's status or who may help you to pick up the part once it's been completed. The requested completion date shows you the soonest that your part could be available. The lead time for laser cut or rastered parts is typically one to two days if there are no issues with the files that we need to reach out to you about. Note that you can also add course information if needed. Things like department, course, 
and purpose of request can be added here. The next step is to upload the file of the part that you would like laser cut or engraved. Note that for each fabrication request, it's best just to start with one file. So I'll select Choose File. And note that here I have two options that I've set up for this example. I have a DXF file, you might remember this name from our workshop, and I also have a zip file of several images that I would like rastered. So I'm going to start with my DXF file by selecting it here and then selecting Open. So now you can see my DXF file has been uploaded. Down here, I can change the quantity. So for example, I can say I would like three of this file type. Next, I can select the type of material needed. So right now, what we offer is two thicknesses in clear acrylic. Next, I have the description of the request. This can greatly help the staff to understand a request. So the more detail you add here about your part and your project, the better. You can add things like general dimensions, what the part is, or if you need duplicates of a particular file name. So I am going to add a few test comments. You can also add comments. This is optional. Finally, note the payment details. Since there will be costs associated with your submission, you will receive an email for how to pay for it. Finally, we'll select the Submit Request button. And this is the screen that we will see if we have submitted our request successfully. Please note that you will also be receiving emails now regarding where your part is in the process. The fabrication request we just submitted for our laser cutter machines now shows up on a list for the ITLP staff to complete. I next want to go over the emails that you will receive. Shown here is a confirmation email. Note that all of these are no reply. All of the information we entered when we did our sample request show up on this email, including a link to ship our part in case we need that. Another thing to note on this confirmation email is a walkthrough of the process that our part will now go through. Right now, our part is in the submitted stage. Let's assume that some time has gone on and our ITLP staff has had a chance to quote our part. At that point, our part will change to payment pending. We will receive another email that we'll go through in a moment that shows how much we need to pay in order for our part to start the fabrication process. After we've paid for our part, our part will move into an in-progress stage. This means that the request is being worked on by our ITLP staff. If there is an issue with our part that we need to address, those of us who have submitted the request, another email will come through the system that says customer action needed. This means that our ITLP staff need you to clarify something for us so that we may move forward with the fabrication of your part. A part may be set as delayed in the case that our system is overwhelmed or something has happened with our machine, you will be alerted that your part has been delayed. When your part is ready for pickup, you will receive another email that says, come on over and pick up your part. Um, if your part is being shipped, you will also receive that here, or if you decide to cancel it. So let's go back to where we are in the process right now. We've successfully submitted a request and we are waiting for the ITLP staff to, sub to quote it manually for us. So we will wait until we receive an email that says payment pending. This is the email that we will receive once the ITLP staff 
has had an opportunity to manually quote, quote how much our part will cost. Here is the link that we can click on to pay for our part so that the ITLP staff may start fabricating it. This is an example of what that form will look like. You can go through this form and see your information and information about the order. When you're ready to pay for it, you can click here to continue to PayPal, PayPal to process that order. Once you have done that, your part will change to in progress within our system. This means that we are working on your part. This is the email that you will receive once your part is in progress. You can see that your part is now in payment complete ready for fabrication, which is also detailed below. If at any point you decide that you do need your part shipped, here are instructions for how to do that. Once your part is in progress, our ITLP staff will change it to that, which means it's actively being worked on laser cut or engraved. And finally, once it's done, assuming much more time has gone through than here in our example, you will see that your part is ready for pickup. So at this point, note that you can go back to that page, the um, laser cutter landing page on the fabrication request system if you've forgotten which locker, but again, it's locker number five, combo 5555 to pick up. And that concludes our training. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me, Anne, or to any of our other ITLP staff to get help.